Okay, folks, there are three major types of proteins we're going to want to understand in order to be able to follow how drugs work. Let's start with receptors. So receptors are a type of protein that grab onto something, okay? They receive something. And the thing that they grab onto or bind is the chemist's word, is called a ligand. And so when they grab onto this thing, this turns the receptor on so it can do its thing, or it turns it off so it will stop. And this ligand, this thing that the receptor binds to, could be a small protein, could be a chemical, wide variety of things. And these receptors, when they're grabbing onto something, it can only grab onto something that is a specific shape. And so we can think about this as like a key in a lock, right? You know that your house key will open your house lock but someone else's key won't open your lock, even though the shapes are kind of similar between the keys. Those small details matter. And so this is the exact same for a receptor and its ligand. And so let's take a look at what a receptor can look like or how it functions. And so here I have a drawing of a receptor. Let's walk our way through it. At the top left, folks, here is a receptor. And you can see in this receptor, there's this little kind of open cleft divot area. This is where the ligand can come by. And in the second picture, you can see how the receptor is just grabbing on so nicely to its ligand because the shapes match. Now, we learned that something binding onto the receptor can turn it on. And so what happens is this area down here kind of changes shape when it turns on for example. And if it turns on with this shape opening here, something else can come bind. For example, this blue square can now come bind here. And then this tells the cell, oh, I was turned on. Go do X, Y, or Z. So let's walk through that again. The first step ligand binds and it can do so because the shape matches. Once the ligand binds, the receptor is turned on so that something else can happen to tell the cell, hey, I've been turned on, let's do the thing, whatever that is. And so that is a receptor protein. The next type of protein we'll talk about is a signaling protein. Now we kind of already saw this in the last slide, but I didn't really tell you what's happening. Usually a signaling protein works with a receptor protein. You might have been asking yourself in the previous slide down here, how is a signal sent to the cell from the receptor? Well, in comes a signaling protein. And so signaling proteins, think of it as a series of messengers that talk to each other to tell the cell something has happened. So what might that look like? Okay, so in this picture, remember the receptor is turned on. But how would the cell know? Well, in comes the signaling protein. 
So the signaling protein binds. And after the signaling protein binds, this makes the way for additional signaling events to happen. So when this little square binds, it gets turned on. And when it gets turned on, it can cause kind of a cascade of events, turning on other proteins, for example, that eventually spread the word to the cell. And that is a signaling protein. The last type of protein that is important to know is the enzyme. This protein does chemistry, okay? So it is maybe making bonds or maybe breaking bonds. It's doing some type of chemistry. It's moving electrons around, it's moving bonds around. Like a receptor, it grabs on to something. Although, as I've mentioned before, scientists love to use a million different words. So why not have a new word for this? It's called a substrate. Don't worry, you don't have to memorize all these words, folks. And similarly to receptors, the shape matters a lot. And so they take that thing, they do some chemistry onto it, and turn it into something similar, but new. Maybe a new bond was formed, for example. And what does that look like, folks? Well, here we have an enzyme. This is little Pac-Man enzyme. And in comes, boop, its substrate. Remember, the shape matters. You can see how nicely the substrate kind of fits in the mouth of Pac-Man. And then once it's in there, it's time to do chemistry. So some chemistry is performed, and so we change the substrate into this new frazzled looking product. And so those are the three major types of protein. Now let's discuss a little bit how drugs can work on proteins. Up next.